treatment for expectant moms. Yeah. Haley, good morning. Good morning, guys. So the Journal of the American Medical Association just released their findings that common medications for anxiety, panic disorders, insomnia, and depression do not increase adverse outcomes in childbirth. So what exactly does that mean? Well, in some cases, pregnancy was shortened by a few days, but nothing that experts believe to be harmful to the baby. Paying the risks, Kelsey Siebold, obstetrics and gynecologist Dr. Megan Pallister says it's more beneficial for depressed patients to get the help they need than avoid medications. And there are medications that we usually start are sertraline and paroxetine, those are the more common. She says depression during and after pregnancy is more common than you think. The risk factors can add up and make some women more likely to feel blue than others. Risk factors are history of depression, women who've had a lot of pregnancies, women who've had miscarriages a history of pregnancies with complications, and then depression during pregnancy increases your chance of having postpartum depression. If they're showing signs during, you know, that first trimester, second trimester, I have no hesitation of putting them on medications. Um, and then postpartum, definitely, we want to look out right in the hospital that second day, first day, second day after delivery. You want to look for signs that they are going into depression or they have risk factors for developing when they go home. She says baby blues, an emotional time that happens after delivery, only lasts two weeks. After that, it is serious depression and may require counseling or medications, which Dr. Pallister says is safe for breastfeeding and won't necessarily be required forever. So moms that experience signs of depression, weight loss, or losing interest in hobbies, you need to tell your doctor about that. And if you are taking antidepressants or anti-anxiety medications, experts warn not to stop if you get pregnant. Dr. Uh, Dr. Pallister says that if you stop cold turkey, that could actually be what does you harm instead yeah. of the medications. Well, it's so good to give hope because a lot of women really suffer from it. You know, Dr. Pallister says it's one in 10. I've mm -hmm. seen other surveys that say it could be as many as 20 to 30% of women experience yeah. depression during pregnancy. Wow. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they don't really know what they're feeling and trying to identify it as something so specific. Yeah, so just those symptoms help. of crying and you think that it has to do with the hormones, right. but it's not always necessarily normal. Yeah. Great information to get out. Thanks so much. We Thanks, appreciate guys. it.